Hey, what's up everybody? I guarantee you've never seen this fractal before. Check this out. Breaking news. I am pretty certain nobody has ever shown this fractal before because the way I got it isn't the conventional sense. It is an actual Bitcoin fractal. Um, so we'll talk about where I pulled that fractal from, but look at this right here. I'm going to fit it right here, just like that. So you can start to see exactly what I'm talking about here. So let me fit it in a little bit better right about there. Extend it out just a little bit more. There we go. So look at that. Okay, so we'll start from here. So we have this move up, take out the high, running flat, go. Right here, move to the high, right? take out the high um, in a running flat, right? Same thing here. We break to the upside and flag out. We break to the upside and flag out. Then we continue higher. We continue higher. And here's where it gets really interesting. So this fractal comes down to the very, the, right down to the T, right? Um, there is one anomaly. There's one anomaly, but I think, um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. What I really like is we have this move down, we have this move down. We come back up, same thing here, we come back up. But what I like to see here, this one came down and took out the low. This one did not, it was actually a higher low. But then when what happened was we came back up and here's where it's interesting. This high right here, is a little tiny bit higher than this high. And that's very rare, right? Usually you get like an ABC, something like that, or it usually comes up to the top. But this one came up, it's very distinctive, right? It came up and it barely took out the high right here. So this is the high and it barely took it out. Look at the fractal. Here's the high. It came up and it barely took out the high. And then it came all the way down, right? It came all the way down and it took out the low. Same thing here, it came all the way down and it took out the low. But here's where it's even more interesting. So you know how we've been talking about Bitcoin, you know, coming down like A, B, C, down to the bull market support band, right? Um, well, I made a video today thinking that's probably, uh, I think the low is probably in, uh, at least for the altcoins, right? But here is an example. This is this is this fractal basically says, "Hey, this thing is already bottomed and we're ready to go." Right? Because I mean, look how many times I've matched it up. And let me just bring it right down here again. And you can kind of see what we're doing. And to me, um, you know, looking at this fractal again, it's very distinctive of how it is. And not only that, we have basically one, two, three different points of contact here, right? And it's amazing that we have the the running flat, right? We have the flat in here. We have the move to the upside. And then we also have, look at this correction in here. I mean, it corrected basically the same. Now it's a little bit different time frames, and I did scrunch it a little bit but the wave structure is absolutely the same. I mean, even you can see the divergences up here, right? It's, it's all the same. And then um, my favorite part about it is the way it shapes, right? The, the way we come down A, right? We come back up, A, we come back up, come back down, it did take out the low, that's the anomaly, but that's okay. It came back down, right? But here's, this is the interesting part. When it came back up, this high, this wave took out this high. Very, very so slightly. And again, usually you get like a B wave like this where it comes up here, right? Um, or sometimes, right, you get like this. Here's the B wave and then you come down. The fact that it did this very interesting thing where we ever so slightly took out the top, same thing here in the fractal, we came up here 
and it ever so slightly took out the top. And then, and then it came all the way back down to take out the low. Came all the way back down to take out the lows, right? So, and now, I mean, look at it now. And then what did you get? You get a big pump. I mean, even just look at this right in here. You can see this right in here, right? You can see the divergencies, the divergence, right? And then you have this, uh, you pop up a little bit, you pop up a little bit. So what I would expect, if it were to continue following, uh, maybe pause out a little bit here, maybe another day, right? Doesn't have to go right away, but essentially get a little bit higher and then start flagging out, right? Like this. And then pop back to the upside and then a little bit higher. So let me, now let's put this fractal back on. Fits like a glove. And where does the fractal go as far as price action? It goes to about $102,000. And that would make total sense to me. I think 100K, I don't think we're gonna go higher than 100K. We might get a little bit higher, but I think a lot of people will take profits at 100K. And then I believe the distribution will start to kick in right maybe we have one more hit to the high whatever the case may be but we start distributing and then we start heading down and this right here is where the altcoins all in here is where the altcoins go absolutely berserk so that's kind of how that's kind of how i'm looking at it so now you're wondering well where did you get this fractal well check it out you're not going to believe this so here's the entire bitcoin price chart and basically, this right here was the entire bear market, right? This was the entire bear market. So what I did is I took this entire fractal and I examined it. Now, a lot of people look at it like, oh, that's bear, it's just going down. But no, this price action is Fibonacci, right? What looks like it's going down also is going up. So check this out. So I'm going to take the fractal right here. And I'm recording this uh, Monday. Uh, let's see, what's the day? Monday, April 22nd. So I don't know if I'll put this video out today or you might be seeing it on Tuesday. But I wanted to record it now. Um, so essentially, here's the bottom. And then I'm going to take the fractal. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Okay, so here's the fractal right here. Uh, and I'm gonna hit settings. And then what I'm gonna do is, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it upside down. So there you go. So basically I turned this bear market wave into a bull market wave. So then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right about here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrunch it in so we can start to see the shape in here. And if you hear kids in the background, that's because there is kids in the background. So it is what it is. Uh, apologize for that, but um, I think uh, this fractal is, is actually really interesting. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure nobody, um, has seen this fractal. I haven't seen it. A lot of people take fractals like this the this way to the upside. Let me put it on log scale. A lot of people take, you know, this fractal or you know, this fact fractal here. Basically, not too many fractals to choose from. A lot of people are taking this fractal, but nobody is taking the the bear market fractals. And you can say, well, that's not allowed. Well, it totally is allowed. The reason why is because this, whatever move goes up, it, it, it can be flipped upside down and that wave can go down. Like for example, if I take this wave, right? And I flip it upside down, right? Now it's a bullish fractal, right? Now it's, 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 it's bullish. So that's kind of kind of what I'm doing here. Um, and, you know, even the same with this fractal here, 
right? I could take this fractal and I can either mirror it, which doesn't work, right? Um, or flip it upside down. And it's better to do this on linear scale um, so we can get the idea. So anyways, um, I think uh, we'll find out if it, if it comes true. But here's the thing. There's already been a couple fractals out there. And this is, to me, the best one so far. So the other fractal people are taking it from is over here basically taking this you know this this flat in here or, or so coming back up to here so basically they're looking at it like from here and i did pull this fractal and it really matches up good with with uh theta and the altcoins total three uh total two especially this area right here um i just put a video out about that labeled theta urgent update so yes it is theta but it's an altcoin update so if you even if you don't hold theta definitely uh check it out um because it it's basically explaining all the altcoins not just theta but all the alt, all the altcoins are looking really good so here's the other fractal right here so i believe this is also the one uh blockchain backer uh shared um, but you, you tell me, which one do you think looks better? I mean, they both look pretty dang good. Um, but, you know, this, this low was a lower low. This low was a higher low, right? This one didn't break the low like this one. So they both have their, their merits to it. Um, now, when I try to match it up a little bit here... Uh, let's see. I do... I'm going to change the one I showed you first to blue so we can see it here. Um, I do kind of like the blue one at the bottom and the purple one for the altcoin. So I like the blue one for Bitcoin and the and the uh, purple one for, I'm sorry, I like the blue one for Bitcoin and purple one for the altcoins. So uh, let me just line it up one more time here. Um, and now I'll put it side by side, here we go. So they both have and this one, I didn't pull it, but it was like this. So it's basically like that. So that's, you know, I didn't pull the whole fractal, but it basically looks like that. So this one is coming up and then coming down. This one is just going up, kind of like this one. It's going up, right? And then it makes a high, which is this high here. So it goes up, makes a high, goes up, makes a high, curls up, breaks the top, curls up, breaks the top. This one, you have a high, you come down, right? Uh, I think it was a little lower than that. Curls up, it takes out the top, boom, running flat. So they're all running flats, right? Same thing, price comes down. Then they both, so what I like, I mean, you can see the blue right here. See how it goes, one, two, and pay attention to this right here and pay attention right here. This one, Right, the one people are sharing doesn't have that. Right, it doesn't have that uh, angle in it. It's okay. I mean, not none of them have to be perfect. But the point is, um, you know, I do kind of like this area right here and this area right here better than the blue one. Um, I do like this move down better than the blue one right here but when you talk about these two points here which is very distinctive um that's where i'm like okay that's where we are right and then we hit the we flush the low and here's the thing when this one flushed the low look how massive it broke it right so here's the low 
wait one second here's the low we broke the low and we we went down pretty pretty significantly right but if you look at bitcoin here's the low and we barely broke the low and that's why i like the blue one because you can see here's the low and we barely broke the low right comparing that to the purple one uh does it really matter i think they're both very bullish fractals this is not financial advice maybe they maybe they'll they'll work out maybe they won't right um you know nothing's ever a guarantee but if it were to continue playing out you can see both of them are still pretty pretty interesting like i can line it up with the purple one right and uh it, it, it's it's looking pretty good but essentially we have this move up we pull down and then we start marching our way up we have a little dip and then we finish the top so that's kind of how it it would probably look so again i pulled the blue one so where we are right where we are right now is the equivalent of bitcoin being in a bear market so basically we're right here right so we're right here right if you just have to flip it upside down watch i'll flip it upside down and this is where we are right here look at this i'm i flipped it upside down and look at this you could see it right here right so we break above the bull market support band we have an a right we have a complex b we broke the top and then we came all the way down we slightly took out the low slightly took out the low and then we continued rampaging to the upside right which was real which when in reality is actually going down right it's going down so um let me flip it back upside down or right side up i should say and that's kind of where we are here so just to recap real quick i took the fractal from the bottom of here all the way to the top i scrunched it in to make it fit this fractal and yes you can do that fibonacci you know you can have a design that is a billion times bigger than one design it can be absolutely the same design it could be the same sequence i should say right fibonacci doesn't you know it, it's like you're spiraling and you ever see those trippy acid trip youtube videos where it's like spiraling and you're kind of getting dizzy watching it it's the same thing right it doesn't matter if it's big or small the point is you know you can have a five minute fractal line up the same as a two-week fractal on a, another chart um the point is is how it reacted during that time and what was the wave structure and what was the the, the end result but essentially this area here is sort of like this area over here which means we're still expecting all of this move so we're close right we're close to the end if that's the case right if, if that's the case but this is the basically the fractal here so we still have another fifth wave to go right so i think uh this was a very very interesting find i was just playing around wasn't really you know doing anything serious but i started looking at it and i started looking at the you know these fractals and i started playing with them and when i flipped them upside down i go aha that's the secret right the market makers aren't just going to give you a beautiful roadmap on a silver platter they're going to make you work for it and that's the and that being said it still might not even be true right it might not be the case so so you know again i'm just playing around with it um and uh yeah i think it's i think it'll be an interesting thing to f continue to follow so uh this is a picture i took um actually a video i should say this one's the picture so when you zoom in you can kind of see um but yeah definitely exciting and i would really appreciate it get that like button because you know people got to see this nobody nobody's seen this right a lot of people have seen the other fractal 
um, that's been shared because it's a bullish fractal, right? People don't share bearish fractals. They just don't. But bearish fractals are also bullish fractals. They're just in a different, um, they're in the opposite sequence, right? That's, that's the reason why TradingView allows you to uh, mirror the fractal or reverse the fractal because uh, that's the case. So um, anyways, that'll do it for this video. I just wanted to sort of highlight that. And if that's the case, then we don't need to come down to test the bull market support band. Why? Because Bitcoin already completed its ABC correction, right? I mean, I, I put out a video, um, it was over an hour long, uh, and I'm probably gonna upload this video on Tuesday. So the video I'm talking about was put out on Monday, basically explaining we broke this low, we grabbed that liquidity, and normally if it comes, if it's gonna come down, it would have lost the low and got rejected by the resistance and came down. But instead, we basically grabbed liquidity. You know, when people have their stop losses here, they grab the liquidity, then it starts to go up. Now we can still come all the way down and flag out, then pop up, right? That's very normal. Or we can go a little bit higher, then flag out, and then pop up. But either way, I think that's the case. Now there's always a chance the fractal deviates and we come back up and then come down later to retest the bull market support band, right? So then you would have like one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Then the whole thing would be W, X, Y. Now, again, I don't wanna talk about that until we get to that point. Right now, there's no reason for me to think that. Obviously, um, it could turn into that, and that's what we have to be aware of. But for now, like what I said on that video, I'm probably, uh, you know, I said I was about 55% sure to 60% sure that Bitcoin's bottom, and I'm about 60 to 65% sure that the altcoin's bottom. The reason why I think so, right, just to give you a little uh, recap, is because when you look at something like Ethereum, right the biggest altcoin of them all you can see um essentially we had already a completed move right we came up like we came down for an a we came up for b right and then we came down for c and this move was proportional with this move so this move and this move is proportional with each other with the connector in between right this is the connecting wave so your down wave you're connecting uh wave right and then you're back down and then the the main thing is is look at all these candles down here we have one two three four five six seven eight like seven or eight like a week's worth of candles that have been continually testing the bull market support band all down in here so i'm like well if that's the case then then if bitcoin comes down we don't want to lose it right all of these altcoins would get would probably lose their bull market support band or at the very least come down right like this and then revisit the lows now i still think that's gonna happen with a lot of them but i think um you know like for example when you look at qnt we come up all the way to the bull market support band we're probably gonna pull back before going higher right when you look at like let's see ave you know we're going up pretty fast eventually we're gonna get stalled out and then pull back before going higher, right? Uh, even XRP, I mean, we have the, and the XRP fractal also looks like the theta fractal I shared, but essentially we broke to the downside. We come all the way up. We can, we're testing it as resistance. It's not gonna break the first shot, right? Usually it comes up and it'll pull back a little bit, try to, you know, like a slingshot, right? Cause it, it's expended all of its energy. It's down here, it comes all the way up here. It's out of breath, it needs a break. So it pulls back a little bit, then it breaks out, right? Maybe the pullback's even bigger. Just We just don't know. Um, if we do break, if we do start to flag out a little bit and then start to break out, then that's gonna be even more bullish, right? Even more uh, of a pleasant surprise. And then you would notice the price flagging out before uh you know going higher and that 
this area here, right? See how we come up? We created a, a descending triangle. We broke, we break to the downside, then we pull up, flag out and go is the same fractal as this. So this is the video I put out and you can see the, the, the fractal here. So here's the price of theta and here's the actual fractal. So this is what I wanted to show you. So look at, we come up, right? We we're into this uh, descending triangle. We come down, we hit the low into the bull market support band, then we continue higher. Well, look at the price of theta. It's exactly the same. I mean, it's it, we even have the expanded flat in the middle, or I'm sorry, the running flat. You have this running flat, right, right here, into the descending triangle, right? I mean, it's like, it's like almost too perfect, right? And then when you look at XRP, it's definitely a lot different, but it's kind of the same, right? You have this move to the upside. You don't have the flat, but you do have this descending triangle. We have the break to the bottom, right? So if the fractal was gonna hold true, we should come up, pull back a little bit, then continue higher, then flag out, and then sort of, sort of go like that, right? So that's kind of the way it would go if it was gonna continue the fractal. Remember, the pullbacks can be very deep. They can come all the way back to revisit the low. Um, you know, when you have a big liquidation event, that's another reason why probably the bottom is in because it wiped out all the leverage. It reset the order books, kind of like on a clean slate. It gave um, a lot of liquidity to the market. Uh, so now, right, we accelerated to the upside and now we're right at resistance. So a lot of times what happens is you flag out. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, I'm not sure if I wanna upload it um, Monday or Tuesday, but the problem is when you upload three videos in one day, it doesn't get into the algorithms as it should. And I really want this video to get spread around, uh, especially because of that interesting fractal, but I'll probably end up talking about it again at a later time um so anyways very very much to be bullish now this doesn't mean financial advice this doesn't mean go all in right now i do expect a pullback i mean a lot of these coins have been pumping pretty big time right um some of them look like they still need a little bit more to go um some of them need a lot more to go but some of them let's look at h bar some of them look like they're they're getting into resistance now right maybe you curl a little bit and before breaking out obviously that could happen um so just be cautious just understand the environment uh i mean anytime you come straight down and then straight back up 50 percent of that wave a lot of times you come back down and back test the the basically the bottom area before climbing higher so um ethereum see ethereum looks like it could go a little bit more uh let's see xrp same thing so you look at pepe i mean it's already doing that it had that descending triangle right it had this this expanded flat right into an expand into a descending triangle it hit the bull market support band now it's impulsing to the upside so who knows what tomorrow will hold um in a perfect world we would get a little bit higher break these highs right here and i'm talking all the charts theta actually let me pull up theta um bear with me here So here's your theta chart. So in a perfect world, right, we would have this pump to the upside, hit the resistance, come back a little bit, but make a big push and break the top here, break above $3.10 or so, then flag out a little bit, and then start to continue higher. That's kind of what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hoping, that's what I'm expecting. Now that could totally change in a heartbeat. Um, so there's a couple different ways that can happen. We can come up and we can come all the way back down to the bull market support band, then make our way up. It's the same, 
it's the same thing. The difference is one of them happens a little bit sooner than the other. So, but more or less, the pathways are about the same. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at this low to hold and uh, we'll, we'll play it by ear and, and see how it goes. If it doesn't hold, then we're still bullish. It's just going to take longer for it to finish out, right? So instead of it being a simple one, two, three, you would probably get one, two, three, four, then five, and then back test, you know, the dollar fifty, dollar forty-five area, then start to go. So, but this would, you know, we'll cross this bridge when we get there. But so far, we're looking pretty good um, for it to continue higher. We got a couple different fractals to show confluence. We got liquidations. We got back tests of the bull market support bands. We got, um, you know, the Bitcoin halving out of the way. So, you know, there's a lot of things to make the argument saying, OK, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. So anyways, that'll do it for this video. Uh, I'm not going to do an hour long video like I normally do. I uh, wanted to condense it as much as I can, especially with this new information. So um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. And if you haven't seen this video, definitely go check it out. Um, it's not just about Theta. It's about a lot of coins that look like that, including XRP, uh, Dogecoin, uh, total to right and then also um, this fractal here so yeah very interesting uh, developments today um, exciting but at the same time being very cautious because we could get a big dump right we could we could get a big dump back down to the lows before heading up so there's always that possibility so um, just be aware of that if you want to uh drop a comment below and let me know um if you've seen that fractal before i'm pretty sure you haven't especially the way i did it i don't see many people doing things like that um so uh and then also let me know what you think did you like the blue fractal better the one that's already uh you know out there or i don't remember which color it was but the the fractal that has been floating around do you think that one's more of a fit do you think the new one i showed is is a better fit to me i think it's a better fit for bitcoin and the other fractal is a better fit for the altcoins but what's cool about it is hey the more the merrier we can get more points of confluence to show uh, a bullish upcoming move then that's what it's all about because we want that assurance that it's going to happen. But anyways, guys, if you want to support the channel, you can always do so. That's always very appreciative. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.